Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out reaction for this beam. So the loads on the beam in the dimension of the beam are given to us and we are interested to find out the support reaction for this beam in just two steps. So let's consider that this is support A and this is support B. The loads on the beam are 2 kN acting at a distance of 2 meters from this end and 3 kN at a distance of 5 meters from this end and a load of 5 kN acting at this end of the beam. So to find out the support reaction, so this is a hinge support, so it will resist the vertical load Ra as there is no horizontal load, so we will not consider any horizontal reaction of the support. This will be Rb. So to find out Ra and Rb, we will use the equilibrium equation. Now we have three equilibrium equation, the summation of moment equal to zero, or summation of vertical force is equal to zero, or summation of horizontal force is equal to zero. We can use these three equations in order to find out the support reaction. Now, we cannot use this equation because we don't have any horizontal load on the beam. Similarly, we can also not use this equation because we have two unknowns, Ra and Rb. This equation can be used when we have only one unknown. I will also show you later. So this equation can also not be used. So the only equation that can be used to find out this to support reaction is this equation. So we will use this equation in order to find the unknown. When we have two unknowns, then we can use this equation. So now let's consider the summation of moment at point A is equal to zero. And let's suppose clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So by this formula, we will find the summation of moment at point A. This is the general formula for to find out the moment. So summation of moment at point A so, first of all, starting from this end, so the 2 kN produce the moment about point A in the clockwise direction because this force acting downward and it will rotate in this way and it will produce clockwise moment about point A. So, this is in clockwise direction, so that's why it is taken as positive. So, it will be 2. This is the force multiplying it with the moment arm R. So, R is the distance from this point 2 kN up to point A because we are taking the summation of moment at point A. So, this is meter. Now again this load creates the moment about point A. Again this is acting downward and it will create the moment in clockwise direction about point A. So this will again take an positive multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from 3 kN up to point A. So this is here starting from this end up to this to so the 2 plus 3 5 meter 5 meter. Now RB producing moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point A. So because it is acting an upward and it will create anti-clockwise moment, so due to anti-clockwise moment it will be taken as negative minus Rb multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point up to A point. So this is 2 plus 3 plus 2 which is 7 meter. And this is also load creating the moment about point A in the clockwise direction. So it will be again taken as positive because it is clockwise 5 into the moment arm is the distance from this point up to this point which is 11 meter. So summation of all the moment about point A equal to 0. Now shifting this value just to the right side so we will get positive 7RB. So this comes out to be 4, this comes out to be 15, this comes out to be 55 and if we shift into the right side so we get 7RB. So 7RB is equal to the 74 if we add these three values. Now Rb, if we divide this 74 by 7, so we get here 10.5 kN. So Rb is 10.5 kN. This is the support reaction here at this point which is 7, which is 10.5 kN. Now how to find out this Ra? So now we have only one unknown, so now we can use this equation to find out the this one unknown. We can also use this equation, summation of moment at point B equal to 0, or we can use this equation because we have only one unknown which is Ra. So let's suppose we are using this equation, the summation of vertical force is equal to 0. 
the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now the upward forces are RA and RB. So RA and RB. While the downward forces are 2 kN, 3 kN and 5 kN, it will be taken as negative. Summation of all the forces equal to 0. So now RA will become, if we shift all these wheels to the right side, it will become 2 plus 3 plus 5. So it will become 10 minus RB. And we know the value of RB, which is 10.5 kN. So RA comes out to be minus 0.5 kN. Now, what does this mean that it has the negative sign? It means that our assumed direction was wrong. So we have to change the direction of this RA. Now it will act in the downward direction with a magnitude of 0.5 kN. It should be kept in mind when you get the negative sign, it means that your assumed direction was wrong. So you have to change your first direction which was, which was acting in the upward direction. Now we change the direction of this sign. So it is acting now in the downward direction. Now to verify that either we find out our support reaction in a correct way or not. So this is a simple way that summation of all the upward forces and downward forces should be equal to zero. So the upward forces are RB. This is the only force that is acting in the upward direction which is 10.5 kN. Now all the forces that is acting in downward direction are 2 kN, 3 kN, 5 kN and 0.5 kN. So 2 minus 3 minus 5 minus 0.5 equal to 0. So these all cancel 10.5 minus 10.5 equal to 0. Here also comes out to be 10.5. So this will be cancelled, so 0 is equal to 0. So it means that our support reactions are correct. So we find out the support reactions in a correct way. So this is the way how to verify your support reaction by taking the summation of vertical forces equal to 0 and just adding all the forces. If the upward force is taken as positive and the all downward forces are taken as negative, so we verify that our support reactions are correct. Hope you guys understand. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.